All right, in today's warm up, um, we're going to review some of the transformations that we've done so far. So I already have on the grid triangle SAM, and I asked that the sub give you the coordinates for B because we're learning that today, and we needed the coordinates of B in order to do C because it said to graph, label, and state the coordinates of S double prime, A double prime, M double prime, which was the image of triangle SAM, and that was the triangle from above, or um, S prime, A prime, under the x-axis. So the rule on the study card for reflection on the x-axis says to take x, y, and keep the x the same, but negate the y. So for each point, the x stays the same, so negative 8, negative 2, negative 2, and then you negate the y. So that becomes negative 4, negative 4, and then negative 9. So let's graph, I forgot the parentheses here, this triangle. S double prime, A double prime, M double prime. So left 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, down 1, 2, 3, 4. This is S double prime. A is negative 2, negative 4, so over 2 and down the same number. And then negative 2, negative 9, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's M double prime. I'm going to connect. Notice we still have the right triangle. With right angle, so in the given triangle, right angle was here at A. We still have the right angle at A. It's just not facing the same direction because we moved it, okay, and then we reflected it. Last, it says graph label and state the coordinates of S triple prime, A triple prime, M triple prime, um, the image of S double prime, A double prime, M double prime, which is what's above, under rotation of 90. So the rule for rotation of 90 from the study card says to take X, Y, and switch it and negate the first one. So negative Y, X. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to bring the y to the front and negate it. So that negative 4 becomes a positive 4, because um, that's the y value. That negative 4 becomes a positive 4. And that negative 9, when you negate a negative, becomes a positive 9. And then the x comes second. So negative 8, negative 2, negative Two. And remember, rotation of 90 is in a counterclockwise direction. So we should go from quadrant 3 to quadrant 4. So let's graph and see. So 4, negative 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's S double prime. 4, negative 2. So still over 4, just now down 2. So there's A, 1, 2, 3. Forgot the third, and then 9, negative 2. So that was 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, down 2. So here's M double prime. Right angle still at A. But remember, we said you could take your compass for any rotation. And if I put it right at the origin, as that's always going to be your point of rotation, and I put the compass on A, the pencil, we should be able to draw a circle and have it go right from A to A prime, and it does. Cool. All right. The point negative 3, negative 2 is reflected over the x-axis. So that rule, or reflection, whoops, reflection is lowercase r, from the study card, says to take x, y, Keep the x the same, negate the y. So keeping the x the same at negative 3 brings us down here to 4. And when you negate a negative 2, you do get a positive 2. Number 3, the coordinates of the vertices of triangle sun 
are given, find the area. Well, let's actually sketch that out. Or if you've already done this on graph paper, you need graph paper for this. Um, so here's y, here's x. Now s is left 3 down 4. So 1, 2, 3, down 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's s. u is right 3 down 4. So 1, 2, 3, down 4. And all, or n rather, is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's n. Drawing the triangle, Alright, this is good review for the final. Um, area of a triangle is one half base times height. So our base here from S to U, if you count the number of squares, I'm going to match it up up here. We're going three, so one, two, three, four, five units from here to here. Um, I'm sorry, I counted wrong. Let's try that one more time. Starting, if you line it up, match it up to the x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because we go from a negative 3 to a 3. That's 6 units. So 1 half of 6. Now we go up 1, 2, our height, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So our height is 9. Our base was 6. So find the area, 1 half of 6 by 9. Let's take half of 6 first. Half of 6 is 3, and 3 by 9 is 27 square units. Then the review. Slope. Okay, slope comes from the coordinate geometry unit we just did. So if you want to put this on your final exam study card, this would be under unit 7. Okay, and slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So taking your y value, subtracting the difference between 13 and 3 is 10, and then the difference between 5 and 1 is 4. Now 10 fourths is not over there, okay? The answer that will be shown in the multiple choice is always going to be the simplified answer. So the greatest common factor over 10 and 4 is 2. Divide 10 by 2, you get 5. Divide 4 by 2, you get 2. So the answer is 5 halves.